Okay, tell me. Hello and welcome to our Better Bone session. Now I'm Emma Healy and I run Way to Fitness and I have designed a special class for anyone who wants to do seated or standing exercise but also has issues with their bone strength. Maybe you've been told that you've got osteoporosis or um, osteopenia and that your bones aren't quite as strong as they might have been before. So this class will help you improve your balance, your strength, your flexibility, and also your aerobic fitness. Now, I'm going to be doing the class in a chair. You can be doing it stood up if you'd prefer. Please make sure you join in at your own risk at your own level because only you can feel how how things are for you today. Now, if you are in a chair, I'd love you to have the chair at such a height that your knees and your hips are at the same height. You're going to need trainers or close fitting shoes on your feet because when we're doing some balance work in a minute, you'll need to make sure you're safe. Equipment that you could use in this class if you wanted to. We've got um, a woggle. This could be like a roll of wrapping paper uh, would be perfect or a very lightweight rolling pin. We're going to be doing um, some exercises with that. If you had some pom-poms or silk scarves, you could wave. Fantastic. And in our strength session, we're going to be using light hand weights. But if you didn't have any, it's not a problem. You could whiz to the kitchen, get yourself two tins of maybe baked beans or tomatoes. Um, make sure that they're the same weight. You haven't opened them, all right? Um, and they're the same size um, of tins. Alternatively, water bottles would be fine. 500 mils of water weighs half a kilo, all right? So if you get your little bits of equipment ready, put them on the side. We'll use them in a minute once we've done our warm up. So as I said, I'm doing the session predominantly in my chair, but you could do this standing if you'd prefer. Now, if you're in a chair, come to the front half of your chair. We're sitting up nice and tall, relaxing the shoulders back and down, and we're kind of got a nice strong feeling in the middle, imagining maybe you had a belt on tightened up to maybe three or fourth notch out of 10. All right. Between little uh, sequences, you can relax back in your chair, but we're going to start in the front half of the chair. Now, feet are hip distance apart, and we're going to start with a little warm up that's just going to involve the feet and ankles and slowly come up. All right. Right. If we have some music, Mr. Healy, that would be fantastic. So front half of the chair is brilliant. Relax those shoulders back and down. And we're going to start with heel lifts. Could my music go up a little bit? Is that possible? And we're going to start with some heel lifts. Here we go. So we're going to lift, lift, lift. So it's a very subtle move, just lifting and lowering the heels. Let's do both now. Both and down. Both. Two more. Well done. Now do me a little toe tap. We're going to do toe and heel. Toe and heel. Two more. Brilliant. Now you're going to change sides. Toe and heel. Brilliant. Two more. Now let's go back to the first side. Add a little curl on the arm. Two more. Well done. Now change sides. So it's toe down, heel. Brilliant. Two more. Now, do you reckon you could do me a little heel dig out the front? So take the leg forwards back on the toe. Brilliant. It's going in a nice straight line. Now change legs. Two more. Now, can you do me a little side step out? So we keep the ankle under the knee. Side step out and back. Brilliant. Now you're going to change the leg out and back. Like step over the cat. Two more. Okay, back to heel digs. Give me two here. Now two side steps. Brilliant. Change sides. Two side steps. Now you're going to give me a little march. We're just going to march. Now as we're doing this, we're making sure we're landing the feet. Landing the heels. All right. Now we're going to stay with a little march on the bottom or just heel lift. And we're going to start with some breaststroke arms forwards. We're going to go forwards and wide. Brilliant. Two more. Oh, I'm in a lovely pool. Reverse the arms. In. Brilliant. Two more. Now we're going to change the arms and go into front crawl. Forwards. Now we start really small. Brilliant. 
Well done. Now reverse the arms and go back like brushing your hair. Okay, four more. Okay, let's go back to breaststroke arms. A bit bigger. Whoosh. Brilliant. Two more. Well done. Now reverse the arms. Go back the other way. Two more. Okay, so breaststroke, uh, crawl. Let's go crawling again. A bit bigger this time. Well done. Reverse the arms, brush the hair. The hair just got bigger. Four more. Well done. Now pat your thighs and caps. We're going to go down, down, up, up. As I'm taking my arms up, I'm lifting the heels down, lift. Last few. Well done. And just back to march. Now we're going to add in the wobble now or the roll of wrapping paper. If you'd like to get your little prop to make life a bit more fun, okay. I'm going to run through our four exercises and we'll put them together. So you're going to start with a little V-step. You see out, out and back. We're going to do that and then some kicks. We're going to ski so the arms and the heels lift and then the arms and heels lower. Okay. If you were standing, you could do me a little lift and squat. So that would be a standing move, all right? Now we're going to march with Dixon of Dot Green arms. Now, this is Dixon of Dot Green. Do you remember them back in the 70s? Okay, good. Then we're going to go canoeing. Hold the woggle at the top and at the bottom. We're going to canoe here for four. And then you just swap the hands. So still in contact with the woggle, but just holding it differently to canoe on the other side. Okay, so let's come to the front of our chair. We're going to start with two V steps and then some kicks before we swap leg. Here we go. Two box steps. So it's here. Brilliant. Two kicks. Well done. Box step other side. Box. Two kicks. Now we're going to go skiing. So heels and arms are lift and down. Reach. Brilliant. So up we go with the heels and arms. Four more. Last two. Now we're going to march with Dixon of Dot Green. So we're going to go one, two, three, change hands. And one, two. Brilliant. Do it again. And one, two. Last time. Now it's canoeing down the right side for four. One, two. Now change sides. Change again. Whoosh. And change. Now we're going to do box step. We're going to make it a bit faster. Start with the left. So it's here. Let's kick and kick. Brilliant. Change the box. Kicks. Fantastic. We're going skiing. Lift and down. Reach. Brilliant. Now, we've got four more to do. Now, we're going to march with a Dixon of Dot Green in the left hand this time. So, we're going to march. One, two, three. Change hands. Brilliant. Change again. And change. Now canoeing down the left side first. One, two, three. Change sides. Change again. Now we're going to do the box step starting on the right. You can do it slow or fast. I'm going to go slow this time. So it's box. Brilliant. Two kicks. So this is the slow version. Change sides. Box. Two kicks. Are you ready for skiing? Last time. Here we go. Arms and heels are lifting. Reach. Brilliant. Well done. Four more. Now, are you ready for March with the Dixon of Dot Green? Baton coming up. Here we go. So we're going to go one, two, three. Change hands. Brilliant. Change again. And change. Now it's canoeing down the right side. You choose how fast your water's flowing. Change sides. Yes. Brilliant. Change again. 
and change. Well done. And pause. Woo! Got a drink, have a quick sip. Now, rather than sitting still, I want you to just lift and lower the heel and relax to the back of your chair while I talk to our next little sequence. So this time, we're going to do two heel digs like this, then two side steps. Brilliant. And then we do the other side. We're going to do a kick. One, two, three, kick. And I tend to alternate the walk while going forward and up. Then we do something called a clock. So it's a combination of a heel dig, a side step, a tap down, and a knee lift. Okay. Then we're going to march and we do corners. We're going to go here, 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 here. Then we do a rainbow wave. Then we do corners back. So we're going to go here, 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 and a rainbow wave. Okay, do you reckon? Yep, you're up for that. So come back to the front half of the chair if you sat down. Shoulders back and down, lovely strong center. We're going to start with two heel digs forwards and two side steps. Join in at your, your own speed. Okay, here we go. Two heel digs. Heel dig. Two side steps. Brilliant. Change leg, heel dig forwards for two. Side step. Well done. It's one, two, three, and a kick. Here we go. One, two, three, kick. Brilliant. Now you can alternate the arms up and forwards. Well done. Now, next one, it's that clock. Okay, so heel dig forwards, side step, tap the foot down, lift the knee. Now, change sides. Heel dig, side step, tap down, lift the knee. We're going to march with the corners. We're going to go here, wobble, go corners, and rainbow wave. Keep marching on the bottom. Corners back, here, here and rainbows. Now two heel dig, two side steps on the left. Heels. Brilliant. Side step. Well done. Change sides. Heel dig. Two side steps. Well done. One, two, three and a kick. One, two, three, kick. Brilliant. Okay, a few more. That's nice. Okay, so now it's the clock. So it's heel dig, side step. Tap down, lift the knee. Change side, side, that's it, side step. Tap down, lift the knee. We're marching, wobbling corners. Here, here. Brilliant, give me a rainbow wave. Brilliant, back the other way, here. Well done, rainbow wave. Okay, heel digs and side steps start on the right. This is our last time through, little side step. Brilliant, now you're gonna change leg. Heel dig, side step. Well done, march, one, two, three, and a kick. One, two, three, kick. Brilliant. Good work, Ooh, proper hot now. Last few. Now it's the clock. Okay, with a heel dig forward first. So it's heel dig, side step. Tap the toe. Lift the knee and touch. Change sides. Heel dig. Side step. Tap down. Brilliant. Lift the knee. Marching with the wobble in the corners. Here. Here. Brilliant. Give me a rainbow wave. Brilliant. Corners back. Here. Brilliant, and rainbow wave. Well done, and pause. Brilliant, get your breath back. Now we've finished with the woggle. We forgot about the pom-poms altogether, never mind. Before we get any more tired, we are gonna do a little bit leg strengthening exercise, and it's called sit to stand, okay? Now, just gonna turn my music down a bit. I'm hoping that it'll be all right for you. I'm not gonna touch anything. I have instructions for my husband not to touch anything, but I did need to turn mine down. Right, so sit to stand. This is a leg strengthening exercise as well as reminding you of the very best way to get up off a chair or the toilet or the bus seat, all right? 
Now, you, if you're in the back of your chair, you hip walk to the front half of the chair. Feet are a hip distance apart, okay? Ankles under the knees. And we just move forward from the hip. So we're leaning forward, not curling the back. Leaning forward, keeping the back long so the nose are over the toes. We can use our arms to help us come up to standing. We always feel the chair on the backs of our knees before we sit back down. So we come up, touch the chair, and sit back down. Now, you can allow your arms to help you if you want. If you're in for a challenge today, you can cross your arms and make the legs do all the work. All right? So you come to the front half of your chair, feet are hip distance apart, nose over your toes. Nice strong center and we're going to come up to standing and then sit down eight times. Here we go. So we're going to come up, feel the chair, sit down. Over, nose over toes. Brilliant. And down we go. Push up through those feet. Well done. Okay, so we're going to do four more. Push up and lower down. Nose over toes. Come up. Brilliant. Two more. Well done. One more. And rest. Good. Okay. Now, we can do something called a stand to hover. It's the same exercise, but you're just starting it in a different place. So you come up to, you come up to standing, all right? And then you are just as though you were sitting down, and then you come back up again. So it's a stand to a hover. Exactly the same shape with your back. You're hinging forwards from the hips, keeping the back long and you're just hovering the bottom. Should we do eight? Here we go. Eight, and lift. Seven, so keep the chin and chest lifted as you're doing this. You're looking forwards, and again, down, and lift. Four more, down, and lift. Keep going. Brilliant, two more. One more. Now, I'd like you to get your hand weights. So if you need to stand up and get them, that's fine. We're going to do some exercises with our hand weights in the chair. Okay, then we're going to come up to standing. Right, so just a few little things to remind you about hand weights. Okay, when you're using them, you always want to make sure that your wrist and forearm is straight. We never have it bent either way because that's how you can get wrist injuries. So hold them firmly. Close the fingers around the handle. If you're using water bottles, then try and get ones with a little narrowing in the middle like they've got a waist, all right? Because they're easier to hold. So we're going to sit or stand up to relax the shoulders back. We've got a lovely strong feeling in the center, okay? Now we're going to have the weights in front of us. And we're just going to lift them up and lower down, okay? Let's do eight. Eight. Seven. So this is called an upright row. Great for the shoulders. Four more. Last two. And pause. Well done. Relax those shoulders. Okay. Now this time, we're going, we've got the backs of the hands pointing away and the palms are in towards the hips. We're just gonna have a slight softening on the elbows, and we're gonna lift, and get the arms the same height there, and come down, okay? So we are going to lift them up the side to maximum to shoulder height, and then lower down again. Are you ready? Here we go. We're lifting up and down, slowly. Lift and down again, lift. Brilliant. One more. Now, do you reckon you could lift them up the front? So lead with the back of the hand. We're going up and down. Two more. One more. Well done. Okay, so just short rest with those shoulders. Now, this is good for your um, flexibility of your brain. Okay, we're going to have one coming up the front as one comes up the side. Should we do four like that? Okay, here we go. So we're gonna go four, 
three. Two. Now, do you reckon you could change arms here? Four. Three. Two. One. And rest. Well done. Roll those shoulders. Now, I'm going to show you side on. I'd like you to take your elbows behind, and then you're going to skim the hips when you're just moving those arms. Keep the shoulders down. Upper arm stays still. It's the lower arm that's moving, okay? We're going to do some narrow ones first. So take the elbows by the waist, and you're just going to extend the arms behind to work the back of the arms. Here we go. Eight. Seven. Shall I just show you? Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. Well done. Short rest. And roll the shoulders. Now, that's a great exercise for the back of the arms. Who doesn't want to target those areas? We can do narrow ones, or we can do wider ones. So we take the elbows wide. Same move. We take them back. We bring them in. Depending on how your shoulders are, you could choose to do narrow ones or wide ones. Okay. We're standing tall. We're going to take those elbows back and out a little. And then we're going to lengthen those arms. Here we go. We're going eight, seven, six. I can feel my shoulders and chest working. Four more. Should be really sneaky and add in another eight narrow ones. Here we go. We're going eight, seven. Keep the shoulders relaxing down. Four more. Last two. And pause. Well done. Now what we're going to do, we're going to turn the palms forwards now. And we're going to bring them all the way up. And all the way down. That's a full bicep curl. Are you ready to join me? Let's stand tall. Here we go. We're going up and down. So elbows stay in at the waist. Brilliant. Two more. One more. So this works the front of the arm. Short rest. Now, what we're going to do now, we're going to come up halfway. We're going to take them wide. Now, we call this the tray because the forearms are like a tray. And if you, you could slot your load if you weren't careful, all right? So you're going to come up, out, back, and down. And in class, we always say what's on your tray. So today, on my tray, I've got hot chocolate, all right? So start with a little bicep curl and do a half curl. So we're going to come up, out, and down. So lift, keep the tray flat as you take it out. Lift, out. Brilliant. Again. Let's do four more and lift. Brilliant. This morning in class in Devon, they had Prosecco on their tray. I know, we did have a few cappuccinos. They just fancied something sparkly this morning, I think. Right, and rest. Well done. So we've worked the front, the back of the arms, and we've done the shoulders too. Fantastic. We're going to put these down, and we are going to do some balance work. All right. Now, we've only got a half hour class today. Must make sure we leave plenty of time for our stretch at the end. So, balance work. Now, I'm going to do this standing. If you're joining me and you just are seated only, I'll give you something to do. Now, if you're not joining in the standing work, you could do me some leg strengthening exercises to hopefully help you come up to standing and do some balance work soon. So, lengthen the leg out the front and bring the foot up to so flex the foot. Sit tall, and all you're going to do is hover the heel and lower it down. And you might do, say, eight on one side and eight on the other side, okay? Right, we are going to come for our balance now. So we've got the chair beside us, and this area is completely free of anything to fall over. I've got my equipment away, okay? So nothing at your feet, and it's safe. Brilliant. Now, you've got your chair to hold on to if you need it. We'd like you to stand really tall. Draw in and draw up. Strong centre. Now, all I'd like you to do first is to bend this leg and lift the heel. This knee is soft, all right? Soft here. And we're just going to lift that foot and look straight ahead for four, three, two, one, and down. Okay? 
Now get yourself comfy, soften the other knee, and then we're going to lift this one, and I'm going to count down. Here we go. We're going four, three, two, one, and down. Good. Now while we're doing this, we'd like you to stand as tall as you can, back to the first leg, lift the, the heel, and then lift the foot. We're going eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and down. Swapping sides. Remember this knee is soft. Start with the heel lift. Then we're going to lift the knee. Here we are. Brilliant. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Good work. Now, doing some daily balance practice is a really, really good idea. Now, we're going to go for an imaginary trip to the surface now. So I need you to pull on your tutu because we are going to stand on a tightrope, okay? Don't worry, we've got a nice net underneath to capture. Now, you've got your chair at the side. You can always hold on to that. This foot is at the back, and then this one is in the front. Now, if your balance is a little bit suspect, instead of having them directly in front of each other, you could step slightly to the side to make it a little bit easier. And we'd like there to be a gap between the heel of the front foot and the toe of the back foot. If I show you side arm, I want there to be a little gap. All right? Right, so, got your chair, the standing tall, okay. So, arms can be on the chair, so they can be resting. We're looking forward, getting our balance, and I'm going to count down from eight. Here I go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, now if you're happy to close the gap between the heel and the toe, okay, we're standing tall. Now I'm going to count down again. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and four. Brilliant. Now take the feet side to side. Just gently wiggle the hips. Good. Now we're going to have the other foot at the back and the other one in front. Remember to start with the gap between the front, between the heel and the toe. Okay, so stand tall. We're going to count down. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and hold. If you want to close that gap, stand really tall. Okay, so we're going to just balance here for a little bit. Brilliant. And then I'm going to count down from eight. Here we go. And eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one one and rest brilliant now we haven't got time to do any more balance today but every week in better bones we do something different a different balance exercise um, to uh, improve our balance because it keeps it interesting when it changes every week and um, online sessions that i do every single week um, i record them for you and so you can do them at your own convenience we send the link you click on it any time that suits you day or night as many times as you want now, we're going to come down to our chair now. We're going to have a stretch. Okay. So, if you'd like to take yourself down to your chair. Now, we're going to start in the front half of the chair, sitting up nice and tall again. Shoulders back, my strong center. Now, take one leg forward and bring the foot up. Now, by doing that, you should feel a stretch in your calf. Can you feel that? I hope so. Now, on this side, you've got a nice straight line, ankles under the knee. Okay. We put our hands above the knee, we sit tall, and then we ease ourselves forward. So keeping the back long, it's a very small movement, but you should feel a stretch on the back of the leg. That's it, so come up. So we sit tall first, and then ease forward. Brilliant. Should we do one more of those? So we sit up, and ease forward. Well done. Okay, now, bring that leg up. Now, depending on how your hips and knees are, one thing, one exercise we could do now is to put our ankle on that knee. Now, this won't suit everyone. Don't worry about it. If you can't do that, just put your hand under your knee, sit tall, and lift that knee, okay? So, we've got a nice, 
straight line going on down here. So the weight goes directly through to the ankle. We sit tall and then we come forward just a touch. You feel a lovely stretch in the bottom, in the glutes. Brilliant. Okay, so we come up, we sit tall. We ease ourselves forward if you want to. Okay, we're going to do one more time. Sit tall. Gently come forward. Brilliant. Now, take that foot down and now lengthen out the other one. Flex the foot and bring the foot up. So in our Better Bone series each week, we do a seated and standing session, we do walk club, and we do a 30-minute back mat-based class, all suitable for people with um, issues with their back strength or their bone strength, um, and also suitable for anyone. Okay? And you can enjoy a whole week of classes for free. Just drop us a message and I'll send you details. So we're sitting tall. We're going to ease forward, keeping that back long. Such a small move, isn't it? And you feel the stretch on the back of the leg. So come back up, sit tall, ease yourself forward. Well done. Just one more. Sit tall and come forward. Brilliant. Okay, so for the glute stretch, bottom stretch, we could just have the hand underneath if we wanted to here. Or we can put that ankle on that knee. Just have a little wiggle because lots of us aren't, are quite stiff in the hip. All right. So we're going to sit tall first. And if we wanted to, we could slightly lean forward to get a really lovely stretch in the hip and in the glutes. So we sit tall and then we ease ourselves forward. One other thing we do, we do a weekly newsletter and it's got all the timetable of the online sessions are in there along with any face-to-face -face classes that you could possibly get to in Devon. If we do three of these, let's just do one more. I think she would do the same amount. Brilliant, I'll take that foot down. I'm gonna to go to the back of my chair now. I'm proper sat deeply in the chair. Feet are hip distance apart. We're gonna hold on to the chair, okay? Feet solidly on the floor. We're gonna reach up and very gently reach over for one, two, and three. So we're deliberately using one hand on the chair. A supported side stretch is best. We do one more reach and come over. Excellent. Now let's change sides. Hand on the chair. Reach this one up. So lengthen first and come over for one, two, three. Up we come. Brilliant. Again, up and over. Can you manage one more? So up first and over. Brilliant. Bring the arms down. Last one. Link the fingers. Push the back of the hands forward. Look down. Then let go. Hands in the. We can take hands onto the chair. Squeeze the elbows together. Well done. Okay. And um, we're gonna take a little breath in as we stretch up. Breathe out as we come down. Give yourself a round of applause. Thank you so much for joining me today. I'm Emma Healy. I run Way to Fitness Online. Get in touch if you'd like to try some free sessions. We would love you to join us and um, have a fantastic afternoon. Bye.